Hello and welcome to the Tower of Despair Guide for Monks. I'm Thor W and I'll be teaching you how to do every floor of the Tower of Despair. Today we're doing floor 16 through 20, so let's go. Floor 16, Power Hungry Mutisha, a male fighter with skills from all of the subclasses. He'll start off by casting super armor into his spiral nen press and other buffs. He can follow up with skills of any subclass, in this instance it was needle spin of the male brawler class. Those Nen Balls will do heavy chip damage while you're near him. Use grabs and their invincibility frames to get some damage in. This character is susceptible to stun. You can use it to get a combo, but at your own risk, as the Nen Balls will be hitting you during the whole time. The best strategy for this guy is to poke him, use your Tornado skill, duck and weave in and out. If your Tornado is out, it will keep him from recasting Super Armor and he will be susceptible to you. Overall, a pretty easy fight, not a whole lot of health, pretty easy to deal with. Floor 17, Glamorous Neil. This is a very powerful male grappler. He has no gimmicks, he just has very high damage. He's susceptible to being juggled, thrown, bounced, whatever. He has a habit of getting up and hitting across the x-axis and trying to hit a grab combo into a wild cannon spike. If he hits this combo onto you, you're very likely to die, so go on a different y-axis from him, and he's likely to just throw out with whiff after whiff at nothing. You can use this ability to make him come to you on the y-axis, grab him and throw him into a combo. Uh, this character has very little, if any, y-axis attacking abilities. His main ability for hitting the y-axis is tornado kick or an attempt at a grab. If you stay out of that, you're pretty safe. You can use your tornadoes, you can duck and weave and poke, but the easiest way to deal with him, grab him from the y-axis, throw him into a combo. Floor 18, Shriekwave Soho. This is an Osara that uses big, strong AoE abilities, the most notable being Ground Quaker, which if you get too close, he will use when it is off cooldown. I advise not to either bait that out or stay a little bit away from him, as you can see, it is very likely to one-shot you. His most commonly used move is going to be a jump into Ash Fork, trying to knock you up, and which he will follow up with a Ground Quaker and uh, likely kill you. His murderous wave that he has out does a pretty decent amount of chip damage over time. As you can see, I'm taking 726 per chip. A uh, decent idea for this fight is to level up slow heal so that you will have a little bit more health to deal with him. Having a tornado out at all times is very helpful. It can stop his ash wave in its tracks. This guy has no major gimmicks to him. He is a regular APC with very high damage. He is susceptible to to being juggled, to being stunned, to being bounced, and it's uh, pretty easy to deal with him as long as you are able to do any of that. As you can see, I got out with very little HP. Slow heal's a good idea. Floor 19, Stinky Folia. This is a female brawler with deadly blood activated 100% of the time. She is able to throw down Poison Mist twice, and it's on a very low cooldown. If you are hit by the explosion of this double Poison Mist, it is very likely you will die. As you can see, it bursts quite a lot of damage. Even if the burst doesn't kill you, the poison w will likely do so. The best strategy for facing this opponent is to poke her and run away before the poison buildup becomes too high on you. This is yet another enemy I would advise having Slow Heal leveled up a little bit against. As you are trying to combo her, trying to beat, beat on her, she will be dripping poison the whole time. A very good strategy is to use the Y-axis to your advantage and stay out of the Poison Mist. If you get in the Poison Mist and it explodes on you, you're very likely to die. Going across the Y-axis, you are able to get any sort of grabs onto her, knock her down with the Shockwave from Divine Crush, use your Tornadoes, and keep her away from you. She is, once again, a normal APC, no big gimmicks, susceptible to stun and juggle. However, that poison that she drips is very dangerous and can kill you very quickly. Again, slow heal might be very helpful for you to have leveled up on this particular item. Floor 20 and other floors that are in the 10s is going to be a user APC. It's pretty much always going to be a user APC. In this instance, I got a Slayer. As you can see, the Slayer used an Asura skill, a Weapon Master skill, a Berserker skill, and probably has Soulbender skills. I don't think he uses any, but in general, these APCs are going to be super-powered 
versions of a, a player character with access to the other various subclasses of their main class. They will have buff damage. Uh, the Berserker move that he used... Oh, there's a the Soulbender one. Uh, anyway, his Berserker move basically one-shot me. That Osro uh, Fire Wave would likely one-shot me as well. Pretty much the easiest way to deal with them is to take advantage of their poor AI. Use the Y-axis to your advantage. Let them come to you. Grab them with a Smasher Grab. Hit them with a Divine Crusher. Use your Tornadoes to your advantage. And wait for your cube skills if need be. Otherwise, relatively easy. Be sure to join me next week, guys, for floors 21 through 25, where we will be tackling the rest of Tower Despair. New episode every week, as long as I'm good at my job and I don't fail. See you next time, everyone.